Welcome to another episode of the Discord.js version 13 tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be reconstructing and redeveloping our slash command handler to fix previously faced issues like being unable to load certain categories, complexity of subcommands, and unexpected interaction follow ups. We're also going to be transitioning our old commands permissions handler to the new one inspired by Recon's IX video. Uh, and uh, we're also going to be passing our subcommands values into uh, arguments that we're going to parse in our inside of our execute functions so we can easily access them so let's go ahead and start out so in case you guys um, weren't uh, watching or following along the tutorial series uh, your index.js file uh, should be looking uh, quite differently than mine uh, that's fine uh, I'm just gonna uh, show you what we did so we basically created uh, a folder and inside that folder we placed our command handler and our event handler and then we required these handlers inside of our main index.js file and we passed in the client it's pretty simple and straightforward and then we created our slash commands collection so this is how we create a collection so and if you have watched along this tutorial series then this should be set up for you already and uh, you should be all right but either way you're gonna get this handle working uh, without a problem so let's start with our um, command.js file which is our command uh, handler file as you see here, we used previously the fs package to uh, figure out where the files are. So we're gonna be deleting all of that. So let's delete here and leave the model export empty. What we're gonna be downloading now is a package called globe. So if you go to your terminal, you type npm i globe, and that should download the globe package for you. I already did that, so I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, in your first line of code, you're gonna type const globe. Uh, uh, equals to require and you're gonna require it from the globe package and then here const and leave the object empty and require from util util just like that and you you're gonna need to require the promiseify just like this now a line under it you're gonna type const globe promise equals to promiseify and here you're gonna pass in globe pretty simple and straightforward the first step now is to actually define where our command files are. So as you see here, we have our main cat or the main folder, the bot folder. Then we have uh, the commands folder over here in directly inside of it. So what we're gonna type is const command files equals to await. We're gonna await because if you have a lot of commands, it's gonna take some time. So we're gonna await it. Uh, and here we're gonna type globe promise and we're gonna pass in the process dot cwd, which means uh, the the like the folder, the main folder that this code is running on. Uh, then we're gonna do slash commands slash star slash star dot js. That's the first slash uh, star. That's the category. So if you're gonna have a utilities category, a moderation, fun, whatever, and then uh, any js. So we're gonna take from any category any js file that's inside of that, that category pretty simple now we're going to create our commands array so we type commands array equals to array and empty array and now we need to map our command files so we type com uh, command files dot map and we're going to map or we're going to async and then we're going to map command file we're going to create an arrow function uh, and here we're going to define the actual command so we type const command equals await require command file so remember we're gonna we're mapping command files and we're basically saying that each js file is a command file and that's how we are uh, gonna uh, define our command all right now learn under it we're gonna check if the command doesn't have a name we're gonna ignore it so if exclamation mark command dot command dot name we're gonna return you can remove the space i don't like spaces a lot and then you're gonna go down one more line and you're gonna check if the command has manual permissions so what i mean by that if you go let's go to one of our commands let's say the ping so let's remove this because this is uh, our old uh, per per way of uh, using permissions so here let's say if i type perms administrator all right so that means only administrators will be able to run it Alright, so we're gonna check if the command has the manual permissions and we do so by typing if command.perms 
then we're gonna set the default permissions of the slash commands to false or yeah we're gonna set it to null so command dot default permissions it's gonna be false all right now we're gonna define our category so we can console log each command from each category so we tap const c which stands for uh, uh, category equals to command dot command file dot split and we're gonna split it with the slash my keyboard is not treating me well today um, let me make sure I'm recording yeah I'm recording um, yeah so now here we're gonna console dot log and I'm gonna add an emoji yeah tab loaded leave a space plus command dot name dot to upper case and then we're gonna add a plus and here we're gonna add a space too uh, and here we're gonna pass in the name of the category so c we're gonna add an array c dot length minus two very simple and now we're gonna exit out this line we're gonna go down a couple more lines we're gonna, we're gonna type a weight client dot command dot set we're gonna set the command inside of our collection command dot name comma command and in the line under it we're gonna push the actual command to the array that we created on the line 8 so we type commands array dot push command so far so good if you want to pause and uh, shake over your code go ahead and do so and now we're gonna start with the permission handling and pushing the, the commands to our guides so we type client dot own ready so whenever the you can also type once but I'm gonna type on we're gonna async we're gonna create an error function and then here we're gonna type const main guide so because I'm only using this commands for one guide I'm gonna go to the discord and I'm gonna copy the ID of my guide that I'm gonna be using the commands in or I want the commands to be set inside and here we're gonna type await client dot guiles dot cache dot get and here i'm gonna pass in the id all right so now we're gonna type main guile dot commands dot set we're gonna set that we're gonna pass in the commands array that we created over here and that we push the command files to dot then we're gonna define them as command and we're gonna create an error function and here we're gonna check the roles so we're gonna get the roles because it's gonna be basically role uh, base so let's say if you go to your discord server roles um, you see I in this admin role I have the administrator permissions as you see over here so this is how the uh, permission uh, handler is going to be working so if you have a role that has for example the kick members permission it's going to allow that that whoever has that role to use the kick member uh, permission uh, commands so yeah pretty straightforward I guess so here we're going to type const roles equals to command name then we're gonna create an error function and we're gonna type const cmd roles or cmd perm sorry equals to commands um, array dot find c as like command c dot name which is equal to command name and then here we're gonna set it to be the perms pretty simple and now we're gonna go down one more line so we're gonna check if there isn't command permission so if exclamation mark cmd perms we're gonna return null we're gonna return zero basically null means zero in javascript so and here we're gonna return main guide dot roles dot cache dot gonna filter through the rules filter filter just like this r for role we're gonna filter r dot permissions dot has cmd perms um, and this should be it we're gonna basically put uh, we'll close this line over here now we're gonna close this line let's close all of these lines because why not uh, we're gonna go down one more line under this one and we're gonna type const full permissions make sure that this is set to be full permissions that were the name of it equals to command dot reduce and we're gonna use an accumulator as that's what you call it later x we're gonna create an error function uh, and here we're gonna type const rules equals 
roles with a capital R like we defined it to be over here roles um, and it's gonna be having the x dot name uh, gonna close out of it and we're gonna check if there isn't roles then we're gonna return the accumulator we're gonna go down one more line we're gonna define permissions so const permissions equals to roles dot reduce we're gonna reduce a v we're gonna create an error function again a lot of error functions and then here we're gonna return an array dot, dot a then the id of it is gonna be v dot id then the type is gonna be role permissions is gonna be set to true all right and put uh, or do we actually need to put that nah we don't need so we're gonna go down one more here line, and we're gonna pass in an array then we're gonna go down one more line and here we're gonna type return dot dot accumulator now we're gonna be using accumulator the id is gonna be x dot id and the permissions is like this and uh, here, here we can pass in another array um, it's looking pretty simple if you want to pause at any uh, position do whatever you want we're gonna go down a couple of more lines under it and here we're gonna type main guide dot commands dot permissions dot set and here we're gonna set the f or pass in the full permissions uh, it should be all right uh, we'll run it and we'll see if um, it gives us any errors it shouldn't but uh, we'll see either way uh, here we're gonna type from actually so yeah now um, we go to our events and uh, not the event commander sorry to the events uh, to the interaction uh, interaction create.js and here we're gonna delete a couple of lines so the first line we're gonna delete is the def reply we're gonna delete that all right then we're gonna delete this old permission handling way and here we're gonna actually um, create uh, an array an arguments array so we have const arguments shout out to recon for figuring it this out I couldn't uh, so shout out to Recon I'm gonna leave his uh, channel uh, link in the description and now we're gonna type for let option of interaction dot options dot data we're gonna create a block if option dot type we're gonna check if the option type is subcommand uh, we're gonna options dot options question mark for each uh, x or option we're gonna create a block, we're gonna check if x.value, we're gonna arguments.push the option.value, just like this. Let me close this line, this line here, and we're gonna type else, else, if option.value, we're gonna push it into our arguments uh, array. Uh, pretty simple and straightforward this should be it uh, and here we're gonna need to pass it so we copy this and we need to pass it in the execute function let's copy this line over here so now you go to every command that you have and you're gonna need to pass it in and you're gonna need, uh, need to change the follow-up to reply so do that for every command pretty simple follow-up to reply uh, I'm lucky because I don't have uh, a lot of commands by the way every command that you see here um, uh, we did a tutorial on them so let's do this real quick reply 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 let's see i can make sure that everything oh here we go we missed this one reply see we're missing a lot of stuff make sure it's all uh, reply instead of um, follow up all right and this should be it Let's close all of our commands. Um, and yeah, this should, this should basically be it. Let's start our button, see if any error would happen. So node, and like you see here, let's see, invalid from already. This is a command error. Let's see what command it was. Um, all right, guys. So the, the issue was pretty simple, a couple of typos. So if you see here at line 14, where we checked if the command has permissions, this should be permission, default permission, not permissions so remove the s and then if you scroll down a little bit 
um, here you should uh, also put uh, and uh, exclamation mark or manage so basically so we can um, ignore uh, uh, the nitro booster rule or the bot command, uh, the bot rules and stuff like that and if you scroll down a little bit more you see here permissions it should be permission and this should be it this is how we fix it uh, so now if we go to one of our commands let's say the avatar like you see here I've set the permissions of it to be administrator um, uh, and the other ones I do not have set or I did not set any permissions to them so uh, let's see here administrator now let's restart our bot so tap no dots and you should see loaded unmute from utilities and stuff like that you can put them in the uh, in the respective folders so uh, let's see let's create a moderation folder uh, let's put all the moderation command inside that folder uh, simple like that now let's restart our bot and that you should you should see that we loaded mute and stuff from moderation and some stuff from utilities now if you go to our uh, server we type uh, we type slash like you see here the avatar is is gray for me or like I can't click it uh, it's because I don't have even though I'm the server owner I don't have the admin permissions so if you go to your server settings roles admin like you see this this permit uh, this uh, role has the administrator permissions so like you see now I can't use it but if I add the admin role to me to, my, to myself like you see now I can uh, use it so let's start please uh, pretty simple guys um, so yeah, this is it. Uh, I hope you guys found this episode uh, informative. Uh, if you have any questions, join our Discord. We would love to support you guys. Um, I'm going to leave the link in, uh, for it down in the description. We have our support channels. Um, and yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode.